yet another video here <laughs> at Stratton Pond. Just wanted to take a little clip of being outside the hammock now. <laughs> Laundry hanging, drying somewhat. Not really in the sun, but to tell you the truth, the clothes that I wear while I'm hiking, it, it's kind of better if they're a little bit wet because they just get soaked with sweat anyway in about 15 or 20 minutes. Well, well, uphill. Downhill, usually I don't sweat too much unless it's super steep and I'm using the poles a lot. But, fighting the mosquitoes off here in the shade while I pack things up. What the hell is this that we have in my bag over here? It's just reaching for the other bag. This little fucking guy. Yikes. Anyway, let's see if we can get a shot of the water over here. This is the trail. <laughs> well, it's not the Appalachian Trail, it's the side trail that goes all the way around the pond, which technically I'm not supposed to camp there. But, whatever. It's a hammock, it's not a tent. So... Though my book does not say so, I was told that this may be one of the largest bodies of water that is actually on the trail. Um, and the AT is just over there. That little tiny clearing you can see right in the middle is where I came out to the pond. Um, what's also funny is that uh, in 10 or 20 miles or so there's a place called Griffith Lake and according to the map I have it's smaller than this pond. <laughs> so, and, and there's like three or four springs that feed into this pond. I'm not sure if there are any that, you know, come up from underneath, but I'm gonna have to look into more about what makes the distinction between a pond and a lake because this is getting a little bit confusing, but I mean, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm just curious. All right, well, back to packing up. As the day gets uh, warmer and warmer, it's becoming more and more tempting to go for a dip before I start hiking, but as I have all the time in the world, <laughs> I will make that decision when it comes. Peace.